Creating objects and views in AutoCAD architecture inevitably leads to rather hard-edged, crisp, precise images. Regardless of whether you are at an early design stage or producing final contract documents. In many instances, you might prefer to show a sketchier image to a client or a planning review board, rather than something that looks like you are 90% finished with the contract documents. There is a great tool for this named Napkin Sketch. Let's review how it works. From the Home tab Build panel, Tools drop down arrow, I'll pick Content Browser. Opening the Stock Tool Catalog, and then the Helper Tools category. On the lower right of the first page is the Napkin Sketch tool. I dropping this into the drawing. At the Select Object prompt, I'll put a crossing around the two offices containing furniture, and then press Enter. In the Napkin Sketch dialog box, since a block will be created, enter a block name at the top. I'll enter Office Layouts. There are line format options from tight to messy. Tight will add one extra segment to each entity while messy adds three. It also randomizes the line vectors. I'll pick loose. On the right side, adjust the intended plot scale. Certain objects may look better at larger or smaller scales. I'll choose one quarter inch equals a foot. There is an extend sketch lines at corners checkbox this extends the intersections of objects slightly past each other, again adding to the hand-drawn look. I'll pick OK. The block is created on top of the existing objects. Scrolling out and then using the Move tool and the Last option, I'll make a pick and drag my block up and outside of my building. To reduce the block extents, draw a rectangle around what you want to keep, picking the block, and then right-clicking in the pop-up menu, AEC Modify Tools menu, I'll pick Crop. At the Select Objects to form the Crop Boundary prompt, I'll pick the rectangle, and then press Enter. At the Erase Selected Boundary option, I'll pick Yes. We now have created this looser, sketchier image of our design. This may now be used for presenting a hand-sketched versus the harder-edge image normally associated with architectural objects.